What's going on YouTube? My name's Jesse and I shopped on Timu again. And I bought an assortment of more woodworking related items. Some things I needed, some things I just wanted to buy, some things I just wanted to see if they worked. So without further ado, I'm gonna break into these. Some of these things do need to be assembled like this miter gauge or um, table saw gauge and we'll go through it. So I'm gonna give you my honest feedback on what I bought, how much I spent, etc. So item number one is gonna be this utility knife and it's called Delhi Home Series Retractable Knife. And when I bought it, I didn't really think anything about it. It didn't really have a description. I just went off the images. And, you know, it's made of cheap plastic. It's just basic plastic. And I'm opening this first because I'm going to use this to open everything else. But at first, you know, I, I love that it's retractable instantly. But I thought it was going to be just a more portable utility knife with a blade. Obviously, most of these retractable knives are just blades and there's nothing really special to them. But I mean, the blade is nothing more than a blade. So it cuts, it's great. I don't really like that it's retractable fully, but it does the job. And for $2.97, yes, $2.97, you can get this retractable deli home blade. And it's pretty simple. Also, I just want to show, that's how you change the blade. And that's, that's really simple. So great for like home use, daily use, etc. Item number two is a retractable magnetic, or excuse me, <laughs> item number two is a magnetic doorstop. And I needed this for my cabinetry. I have a metal, or I have a um, cabinet door for a garbage can drawer that needs a door stop or a magnetic stop. And at initial glance, this is a very large magnetic stop. So maybe I didn't read the description correctly. I just wanna see if it works. But for the price of $5.48, how the heck does this thing work? Because that's not magnetic at all. For $5.48, this was supposed to be a magnetic stop. And right now I'm just trying to figure out where the magnet part of it is because that's not uh, latching. I have some true magnets here and that's not even latching. Did I just get skimped out on the magnets? Okay, well, if this is claiming to be a magnetic stop, I was hoping that this was gonna, you know, latch instantly. Unless I'm doing it wrong, but like I could see it working like that. Okay, so that that connects. That's not magnetic, that's just force, that's pressure. So I'm gonna have to go back and read the description and I'll take you guys with me, but I'm pretty certain I bought a magnetic stop, not a pressure stop, because that has nothing to do with magnets. But I mean, that's a very firm pull, so I'll take that part at least, but for $5.48, this is a good value on Timu. It's a little dinged up, but that could just be manufactured dings. Next product. Next product is wood plug saw bits. It was a four piece kit, I believe. And it came in this little packaging. Okay, so there's four of them. Let's unpack these. I mean, they're just standard plug bits. I'm gonna see if they work. Let's give them a try. They are marked as six, 16, 10, and 13. And for the price of what I paid for them, which is only $4.77, it seemed like a good deal. So let me just bust out my drill gun. I'm just gonna grab the smallest one because I don't really wanna go crazy. I'm sure they're all gonna work the same, but let's go with this bit. This is the 10. Let's just pop it in. Okay, that's in. So let me find a piece of lumber real quick. Something that I don't care about necessarily. I have this piece of plywood right here and I'm just gonna see what it does. 
Oh, that didn't work. Right now, it just wants to move along that piece. I have a piece of scrap maple here. I'm just gonna see if I could manage to get this to work. And in the essence of time, I'm just gonna grab a different bit. Now that I launched those bits across the table, and in the interest of using the bigger bit, let's use a bigger bit. Yes, let's go crazy, shall we? Let's go crazy, let's go crazy. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna hurt myself. Let's play a little safe here. I'm gonna clamp this down. I don't wanna hurt myself today. All right. I think the hardest part is just getting it started because right now I'm just destroying this wood. I don't think a drill gun is the way to go here. Well. Something isn't working. So, I mean, it's there. It produces a lot of heat. I don't know if it's really dull or what, but it is a little hot. Now I'm gonna grab a screwdriver and see if I can pop that puppy off. And then I have a dowel, a maple dowel. Boom. It's pretty beat up. It didn't go straight. So I would, I don't know. I, I really don't have an answer on this. I'm not like an expert dowel maker. I am trying to get into it and understand how to cap properly and make my own dowels. But that, that piece is really beat up for what I wanted it to do. So with that, I'm gonna move on to the next product and think about that because those kind of suck. And just to point out for these wood dowel bits for a set of four on Timu. I got them for $4.77. So if I had a drill press, I think this would be a little bit different because I would have a stationary object that I would drill into. It'd be a little bit more controlled and so forth. But for a drill bit for which I thought it was gonna be used for, this doesn't really fly. For the price, it's great. For the functionality, I think I'm just doing it wrong and I'll, I'll accept that. So high quality though, can't really tell if they're sharp. Well, moving on. The next part in the series of hole saws is this puppy right here. I bought a dowel maker because I thought this would be a better option if that didn't work because I had the feeling those wouldn't work. And out of the box, this thing is packed great. It looks phenomenal. It does look high cast or high quality metal or aluminum alloy, which is what Timu is. Timu has a ton of aluminum alloy pieces and I was looking at an image online you actually screw this down to a base plate so you actually have a stationary bro uh, block so what I'm going to do is just that I'm going to attach this to my little workstation here and see how we do and it'd probably be good to know like if I attach this to like a dedicated piece of plywood this would probably work even better so this is for that dowel does it come with anything there comes with a new blade i think i bought the kit and does it come with an allen wrench to change that okay that's not the because that really did not fit for a second so it has two allen wrenches or two holding bolts to change the orientation do i have to bring them all the way out it looks like it Super tiny one. I want to do 12. 12 cent looks 12, I'm assuming it's 12 millimeters and that's probably a standard size for most holes. 
So I'm just going to get both in. So you can actually leave the center one in. I just realized it does spin freely. That's my own fault. I should realize that. And then you could see if the screws line up in the back because it's all the way through, which is nice. So there's no guessing on this. You're always going to get the line up and you're always going to get the exact spot that you want to do it. And that's really it. So now I just need to find a piece of lumber that fits there. So I'll be right back. So in preparing for this, I just want to point out this deli blade does not work in pushing away if you're right handed. If you're left handed, it's no. If you're left handed, it's like a weird motion. So it's really only good for opening things towards you and you're not supposed to pull knives towards you. So I have to go back to my Hanley, handy Stanley blade and I'm preparing this wood to fit in the drill gun so I can use it on this site. All right, now that this is finally set up, I don't really know the concept. I need to research it, I think, a little bit better on how to take like hardwood and get it to a size that fits in the drill gun and you can actually dowel it. That I'm, that I'm not too familiar about and I'll be honest about that. So I have a dowel and I'm just gonna make it smaller just to see that this item works. And here we go. I'm using a soft wood, it's pine. I think this is better for hardwood. But in the grand scheme of it, it does make it smaller as it's intended to do. I just don't know if I'm doing it correctly. And I will admit to that. So with that, this little puppy right here with the kit, the Allen wrench that's almost too tight to where it actually almost strips the bolt, the blade wrench, and an extra blade. It actually had three screws also to mount it to that um, reusable wood that you have, but it has an extra blade, like I said. It is a nice quality material. This would run you $23.39, which for the price on Timu is actually a pretty good damn price. So if you are in the market for a dowel maker and you have any idea how to use it, you know, I'm happy to learn. I'm happy to experience it without going to YouTube and researching myself. Let me know. Let me know down in the comments on how to take a piece of hardwood that would fit in your miter gun or your, um, excuse me, your drill gun and where you actually can send it through there and get like a high quality dowel. Let me know down in the comments, like I said. Thank you. So without further ado, let's go to the next product, which is going to be a pull saw because in the scheme of doing all this, I wanted to keep everything kind of the same, you know, in line with this hole saw or dowel bit or dowels, etc. I wanted to keep everything kind of in that theme. And right now, two of the items that I need for that theme are failing me. So it's very hard to say where I stand on that. This shipment of Timu items has really been a letdown. So I'm gonna use my deli knife because it's what I have for this video. And we're gonna see how we do. It, it, it's really sharp. I know it's just a razor blade, but this is a Japanese flush cutting saw. And I do have another pull saw that I've had for a long time now. And I just wanna show it off. I got this off Amazon, which is a good place to get a whole a saw or a pool saw. It's pretty rusty. It's been through quite a few moves, but this thing's great and I'm glad I got this. The only reason I didn't have a, the only reason I got that was for flush saw or flush sawing. And at the time I didn't realize it had that little guard on top. So this is my first pool saw that's flush and I'm hoping this comes in handy. It looks pretty decent. You know, it's just a saw. It's a pool saw. It's a flush saw, excuse me, and on Timo, it will run you $9.48. 48 cents. It is a six inch tool. I do, for what you use a 
flush saw four, this should be ample enough. It does seem plenty sharp. So with that, I'm gonna put this back in its little guards here, which are super cute and convenient. Boom. Boom, and I'm gonna put this on my shelf for future use. I'm gonna put it right next to my other pool saw in the event that I need it. When I was on Timu, I happened to stumble upon this other item that I just thought, this could probably be really useful and for $2, or excuse me, for, yeah, $2.19, it's a extension cord organizer and all it is is a Velcro strap with a small little carabiner. And if you notice, I have a little bit of a mess on this side of the shop. I have a compressor down there and I was gonna use this on the compressor hose because I used to zip tie this hose because I didn't have any way to keep it organized. And now that I have this little piece or this little Velcro strap, I thought this was gonna be great. So this is just gonna be a rough organization because I know I need to organize this nicely. You know what? Let's change that. Much better. So let's slap this puppy on on this organized compressor hose and see if this was a good buy. All right, so make it nice and tight. Wrap all the way around. Perfect. I wonder, there's a little piece right here. I wonder if this hooks in here as like a safety. No, I think that's just there. Who knows, but whatever. It does the job for $2.97. This is exactly what I wanted it to do. And now I'm gonna find a new home for this. Let's pop this down just for a second and boom. That is some easy organization and I'm a huge fan. So it comes with a pack of two, basically saying they're a dollar and eight cents, nine cents each. It's pretty useful. It's great to have in the shop. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. On to the next product. Another little gimmick product that I saw because you can never have a two, two or you can never have enough of magnets. And magnets are great. I was going back and forth on which ones I wanted, so I just picked ones that I thought would be for the best value, decent size, etc. And I found these little guys. These little, this little set of magnets will run you $6.48. I don't know if you can even see it from there, they're so tiny, but they're useful. They're really, really useful. And I don't have much metal in the shop, but let's see if I have something to put this on. So, let, so let's just say, for instance, like this chisel needed this screwdriver. It's always gonna be there, it's ready, set, go. It's a really quick, easy, you know, just put it there and you're good to go. Four piece product that I bought was these flush bit router bits or flush router bits. Cause I don't actually have too many of these. I do see that they actually came busted. So that's unfortunate. I don't think I did that. I think that's how they came. And they look okay. They don't look that amazing. I'm not actually gonna use these. I'm just gonna say that I bought them and go from there because I don't have time. I don't have anything right now to flush trim, but their quality is questionable. So you can see, if I can bust this one out, somehow, some way, let me bust the seal, I guess. I don't really wanna break the labeling. But if you see right there, that doesn't look very high quality. But you get what you pay for. So for a couple dollars, you can have these. Insert dollars right here because I don't have it written down. But now, finally, for the product that I really wanted to review in this video was a crosscut sled or a miter gauge sled. And it was pretty high quality. This product right here cost me $61.64. And I just want to show you the packaging because the packaging is rather nice. It did come in this foam container. Nice and packaged, you know, really clean. And I'm going to snap to it being done and put fully assembled because this is going to take some time. 
It comes with a ruler, comes with all the bolts and crannies and little pieces, things that I needed to upgrade my table saw. So I'll be right back. For what it's worth, this miter saw gauge or this table saw fence, whatever you want to call it, it's listed as a table saw miter gauge, which makes sense. The assembly wasn't like crazy, crazy hard, but it also wasn't very straightforward. If you look at these assembly instructions, it tells you how to put some of the parts together, but it doesn't tell you what pieces. So it's really just a guessing game. And that's exactly what happened. I basically guessed my way to victory on this one. It's really nice. This piece right here can actually go in two different spots. It can go up top and go like that up against the body, or it can go down here and be another push block. It's very high quality, red, white, black, and gray. So I can't fault it there. It does need some wax. So I waxed my table and it's a little bit smoother, but it's gonna be a trial and error thing. It does come with this nice um, numbered line as well. And it's almost like a very heavy duty line. I just don't know which place I wanna put it yet. So there's obviously a spot for it here. It goes either way. I know I have, my, uh, I have it on the left side of my table saw but it can also go on the right. And I have it on the left because I don't really have a lot of room on the right. So that's why I use that side. But for the price and overall my opinion, I think I got a pretty good deal on this miter saw or table saw fence gauge thing. I keep saying miter saw because that's how it's listed, but it's not a miter saw. It's a, it's a fence. It's a upgrade in comparison to the stock fence. And for those who don't have a rigid, this is the stock fence. It barely fits. I never really tinkered with the stop block. I added this for a recent project and I don't really rely on it because it wobbles and it's just not reliable. And there are still some things that I want to see how they work because it came with some additional pieces and I'm just not sure where those additional pieces go because it came with two more of these. So it came with two washers and a little bolt or a little nut like this, if I could show it to you. And there aren't really any other spots for it because I've looked all up and down this piece and I'm not really sure. So if you know where these parts go or if I'm not set up right correctly, let me know down in the comments and let me know how to fix this. But Again, that's so smooth. It could really just use some more um, waxing and really that's it. For the price, again, I think it's a good buy. It's a good deal in comparison. The only downside to having it on the left is this sticks out. So maybe I'll play with it and put it to the right. I don't know. But for now, I'm gonna do a couple projects, see where I wanna put this and then have a better idea. In my head, it, the one should be all the way to the blade, whichever side you have it on, and so forth. Make it easy, you know? And that wraps up the second order of Timu products that I've reviewed and gone through. In reality, everything on this table was a good value, good price, etc. If you know how to use the items, that comes in handy. The whole saw dowel bit, I will practice with and I'm gonna get some more experience with. These, I think I really need a drill press. These worked, I actually did them off screen. They're just not the greatest of quality. You get what you pay for. That's how it is. The pull saw or the flat saw or the flush trim saw, really handy. This I actually tried to use on the item or application that I wanted to use and it's the wrong orientation. This was kind of a scam though because it's listed as a magnetic um, close or door stop and it's not, it's just a force or a tension. It's a tension stop, so that's that's a lie. Utility knife, it's great if you don't use a knife daily, but it doesn't. It's good for pulling and dragging, but it sucks in comparison to pushing. Magnets can't go right, wrong with magnets. These straps for two dollars, like I said, a dollar. The ones hanging up on the wall, priceless. And then of course, like I said, the main item of this purchase, the sixty-three dollar fence, off of Timu. It does what it's supposed to do. It's very high quality. I don't really like metal on metal for the, the gauge here. You can already see as well that it is coming off. 
it did take a beating in that rigid table saw, but either way, if you like what you saw here today, I have another video right here of me doing my first review of Timu products. And there are actually some products in that shipment that I still use to this day. They're even up on my wall, including the miter or the, excuse me, the, the rulers that I use for daily measurements, etc. If you like what you saw, leave me a like, comment down below on how to fix or maybe use some of these products and I'll give it a shot in a follow-up video. Other than that, have a great day.